Tonight, Election Day is less than a month away. A ballot initiative aims to make changes to the state constitution. That's right, 13 WRX's Manny Estopinan joins us to break down the details of that ballot question, Manny. Derek and Brittany, at the heart of this question, voters will have to decide whether the Illinois Constitution should protect the rights of workers. Take a look. Come Election Day, Illinoisans will have a chance to vote on the future of unions. Illinois' labor movement can be traced back to the 1860s when miners tried to secure safe working conditions but received pushback. It wasn't until the 20th century that miners got the protection of even an escape exit. So they fought on those issues. So we might think that's just something everybody would accept, but they said, no, it'll make our coal too expensive. The ballot will ask voters if they wish to add to the Illinois Constitution the right for workers to unionize and collectively negotiate. Right now, anybody can unionize in Illinois. We just want to protect that in the Constitution so that if there's ever a question, our Constitution speaks to it. There's no financial change. There's no change as to who's going to be able to organize. There's no change as to how they're going to be able to organize. What we want is to be able to protect workers' voices on the job. As president of the Rock for United Labor, Sarah Dorner oversees over 25,000 union members, consisting of plumbers, carpenters, teachers, and more. The Illinois Chamber of Commerce says the proposal will give unions more political power instead of providing more money to families. We reached out to local area chambers, but they declined to comment. Uh, having a union allows workers to come together and say, we believe this could best be done this way. We believe that we need more staffing to keep this safe. We believe we need these supplies. Those are some of the benefits. They can speak out about safety issues without fear of retaliation. Wisconsin laws removing workers' rights back in 2011 and state candidates running on anti-labor platforms have mobilized labor groups for this ballot initiative. In the aftermath of that, labor unions saw an opportunity to turn around that dialogue and say, no, we're going to go and we're going to actually put into place something that would prevent any attempt by the American Labor Exchange Council to get this kind of legislation in Illinois. We're going to end the debate because it is uh, consuming. If you wish to make your voice heard on this issue, early voting has already begun and you can still register to vote if you haven't already. Visit WREX.com for all the details. Brittany and Derek, 